Hi boys! Welcome back to the channel, YouTube. Right. I'm Navy Dad. What are you doing? What? Things not a Chevy. It is too a Chevy. It's an Isuzu. They've always been made by Isuzu. It's built in Missouri and Canada and Brazil. It has a Chevy 3.6 liter V6 in it. Just because it has a Chevy engine in it doesn't mean it's a Chevy. Remember the lawsuit in 1976? You are full of There has to be something, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not exactly the Chevelle or Old Blue. It is my son's girlfriend's 2018 Chevy Colorado Z71 pickup. So what this is is to uh, remove the bumper and replace the radiator shutter assembly. And this should cover Colorados and uh, GMC Canyons, I think, from uh, 2015 all the way to 2022. So, so this was shot back in April because my son and his girlfriend moved to California and had the opportunity and so yeah they're in LA <laughs> of all places so but anyway um, what happened is Brie called me on a Saturday and they were leaving on Wednesday so they're packing up their truck they were taking to U-Haul and they were headed out west you know kind of like Beverly Hillbillies their trip was kind of like that too oh my gosh but anyway uh, she said check engine light came on what do I do and I said well come over to the house so that was a Saturday and I put the scanner on it and it had a code for a the radiator louver assembly that you know, opens and closes with temperature. I failed. Not only that, she had to get the truck inspected here in Texas. There was a license was about to expire and that would give her a full year in California before having to go through that crap. So anyway, uh, had her come over, pulled the codes and I said, okay, hello, wow, can we get the part? Called my buddy Matt at O'Reilly's and said, yeah, I can have it for you here tomorrow at 11 o'clock. So that was on Sunday. I got the part, and but I so the night before I kind of looked on YouTube, of course, trying to figure out how to how to do that, and there were not any really decent videos on how to do it. Most people were trying to remove the grill from the bumper. Uh, don't do that; <laughs> you will break it. That is just absolutely not designed to do that. And really, the only good way to get that thing off of there is to take the bumper off. And I couldn't really find any decent videos, um, so I thought. Well, what the heck, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I might as well make a video, right? What we did find out is when her check engine light came on, she was actually at Target. And got into the truck, turned it on, check engine came on. Well, apparently somebody backed into her at Target because it wasn't actually um, the assembly failing itself. It got hit just right. It pushed the shroud, just this thin shroud, you'll see, into the shutter assembly and broke it and then of course, that failed. The motor failed, and of course, kicked off the check engine light. So, uh, didn't discover that until I got into it. There was no way in heck we were going to get that in two days. So I had to fix it. <laughs> so, a little engineering, and, and we got it going. So, here it is. So, like I said, uh, there really isn't, or that I found any decent videos. And one guy's got the camera shaking all over the place like this, and you can't tell what the hell he's doing. Sorry about that. And then another guy it pulls the bumper off and drops it on the ground. <laughs> So, I, I think uh, uh, since I got to do this, I might as well film it and, and show you all how to properly do this. But one thing I will tell you, you got to take the bumper off. That's the proper way to do this. Don't try and take the grill off because you will break the tabs on it. It's not made to do that way. In fact, if you replace the grill on one of these, you're supposed to take the bumper off. And then use a tab remover tool to get that off. So, just, just do it the right way. Uh, when you start doing this... What you want to do is start from the bottom up and leave these fasteners to the end because uh, even though you've got to pull a little bit to get this bumper off, you don't know if somebody's been here before. So if you start undoing it from the top down, the thing could fall over on you. It could crack, it could break. So start from the bottom and work your way up. First, you got to start at the wheel well. So now I've seen some people where they actually take the tires off. You don't need to do that. You just need to turn the wheel. Okay, so here's the inner fender well. That's the fender, if you can pull back and show you. Okay, um, there are seven 
T5 screws to remove. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to be able to pull the fender liner back to get to the seven millimeter bolts that are up there. I'm so glad to see that GM has finally stopped using a mix of screws and those stupid Christmas trees for the fender liners because those things always fail. Okay, and you see I have the fender liner pulled back like that. There are four seven millimeter bolts you have to remove. Uh, one right there. There are three right along inside here. One, two, and three. Difficult to show, but you can see the seven millimeter bolts right in there. And there are three of them. Forward, middle, and the back. So go ahead and take those out. Okay, now if so equipped, don't forget to unplug your fog light. Okay, so now all we have is two 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, switch into iPhone here. Now we are underneath and we have two 10 millimeter bolts, just this guy right here. And I'm gonna cross over here at the bottom of the splash pan and that guy right there. So take those off. But now we gotta do the bitch bolts. <laughs> That's why I refer to them. There's one here, oops, and one here, and they're kind of up and in, and it's very easy to kind of lose the bolt, especially when you're putting it back in. Let's do those now, shall we? Yeah, the bitch bolts. Where they are is, is in, right there. See that? You see how easy it is to drop them, hard it's gonna be to get them back in place because you are at an angle. Now this side, Need to have a little chat with my son's fiance. What happened here? I can't. Oh, may have had a little ding there. <laughs> All right, so let's get these out. There we go. Okay, so now the last thing you want to do is take off the remaining six T5s. Now we got our bolts off, should just come off. There's a clip right there, you've got to be careful to pull out and not break. There we go. Oh yeah, our tire underpiece is busted. Somebody backed into her, probably. Hmm. Well, maybe I can JB weld that back together. <laughs> All right, I'll show you what it was hung up on. My last little hang up was these clips right here and here. So you just want to be really gentle when you pull it out. And they go in right here. And there. So um, that's the clip and that's the locator. All right, so next, let's get that broken thing out. That was the whole purpose of this. <laughs> okay, so the next part is we've got to take it off, but we also have to be very careful and take off um, this part of the air control system just to help direct air into the thing. But as you can see, it's broken. Um, and there is no time to get that piece from the dealer. Uh, I may be able to at least do a couple of repairs to it, but they're, they're moving, so uh, to California. Next thing is we're gonna have to be really, really gentle and we're gonna have to pull out the pegs. So we've got one, two, three, four. It's like five, six, seven. And I think that's it, it looks like seven. So let's, let's get to work on that. Well, this isn't gonna be pretty by any means, uh, but I, I think I can fix that. I've got extra ABS uh, plastic that I think I can fix it with. So let's take off the dipshit Christmas trees. Okay, so we got that off. Now, there's two clip, clips right here, but once you disconnect it, it'll, it'll se separate from the um, uh, from this guy, but you want to, it's got a little squeezy clip like Christmas trees. There. Unclip that. Okay, and then you've got a plug right here, which is uh, part of the electrical system that comes in right here on the new one. 
So definitely don't forget to unplug that. Okay, so there are eight bolts uh, that hold this thing on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there are two spring clips you push down and unlock. Oh, <laughs> you pull up, sorry. <laughs> you push up on the spring clips. There we go. And you just lift it out. And these are the spring clips I was talking about. Let's see. I need better lighting in here. But, so we'll do this. There they are. So you pull up and that unlocks that little clip back there. Don't forget that you've got to take off your ambient light or your ambient temperature sensor and swap that out. Don't forget that. Basically what it does is just a forward latch and a clip and it just comes right out. But, so, <laughs> don't forget to get this piece because if you throw your old one away and you forgot, you're screwed. Yeah, so now I got the new one back on and now I gotta fix that, so. So, well, this is quite unexpected, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it put me back a little bit, uh, but I was able to put this thing back together. It ain't purdy. Duct tape and bailing wire and, you know, stuff that was in the toolbox, but it'll work, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're driving the moving van, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, so that's what uh, what happened to this. Well, I got turned over, but the other side is uh, is broken. And I think what happened is it probably just jammed and it kept trying to close the louvers and it just burned the motor up. You know, just, just put it back together in reverse order. Penis. <laughs> okay, and, and we're done. Uh, one thing we'll note is you're gonna want uh, a ratchet wrench of some type, seven millimeter, like this guy right here, because the three bolts that bolt the bumper, they're seven millimeters. These two are pretty easy to get. That one, because of the way the headlight is, and another piece of the uh, fender up there, that's a bitch to get to it. You're definitely gonna want a ratchet wrench. So, there we go. Hopefully the check engine light goes off. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and it is a Chevrolet. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, uh, I just thought, you know, hey, I gotta do it. Might as well. Couldn't find a really decent video of it out there. You know, had to get the kids to California and they got there safely <laughs> along with, oh my God. I won't even get into it. It was quite quite comical, but they did get there in one piece safely. <laughs> so anyway, we will be back soon with the Chevelle, wiring harness and all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, keep watching. I hope you enjoy this one and I hope it helped you. <laughs> Boys, you take care now and y'all be safe. And yeah, it's 100 degrees in here right now, so I need a beer.